St. George, he was a Turkish knight. He wasn't one of us, but that's all right. He'd have been rubbish in a Friday night fight in Southend. He'd have get dressed up in armour bright, but dragons were few and a very rare sight, and his chances of finding a maiden were slight in Southend. He couldn't speak English, try as he might. He sounded like a girl because his trousers were tight, and I've heard it said that he was shy at football. Chorus, St. George is a foreigner, ain't that quaint? Oh, yes, he is. Oh, no, he ain't. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, no. No, he ain't. Well, you can bugger off then. St. George, he is our patron saint. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, no, he ain't. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, no, he ain't. I'd rather have Boris Johnson. Now, just last week in Warrior Square, there was fire and smoke and a stench in the air, and people were running here and there, all in a terrible hurry. Now, this is true. I solemnly swear I've heard this story everywhere. It was Tony Pryor with his pants on fire after last night's chicken curry. But right behind it came to pass was a bloody great dragon with a spear up its arse being chased by a geezer on a big white horse or it might have been a camel. Anyway, brave St George went riding by with his glass leg and his wooden eye, waving his cricket bat up to the sky and his balls they were enamel. St George is a foreigner, ain't that quaint? Oh yes he is, oh no he ain't, oh yes he is, oh no he ain't. Well you can bugger off then. St George he is our patron saint, oh yes he is, oh no he ain't, oh yes he is, oh no he ain't. I'd rather have the Easter Bunny. Now this is what really happened, the true story. There once was a maiden in distress with long blonde hair and a nice white dress and though she was a real princess she'd soon be a dragon's dinner when along came George just passing by when this young maiden caught his eye who rescue me was her plaintive cry I'll reward you with a tenor or the equivalent in sexual favours perhaps whatever so George on his horse would preen and prance waving in the air his trusty lance and as the dragon did advance he changed his mind and legged it the dragon thought this a splendid game, and although it was rather old and lame, gave chase to George while puffing out flame, then had a heart attack and pegged it. Ah, oh. St George is a foreigner, ain't that quaint? Oh yes he is, oh no he ain't, oh yes he is, oh no he ain't. Well you can bugger off then, for oldy roldy day. St George he is our patron saint, oh yes he is, oh no he ain't, oh yes he is, oh no he ain't. I'd rather have Prince Philip. Before my story gets much worse, I'll sing you just one final verse. Won't be time for me to rehearse, so this could all go wrong. But this story has a moral, never with a dragon quarrel and here's a fashion tip by the way don't have spots with anything floral especially a thong and Alton Georgie lingers on his body it is now long gone his head's kept in a box in Rome but England is still his home say George is a foreigner ain't that quaint oh yes he is oh no he ain't oh yes he is oh no he ain't well you can bugger off then for oldie doldy day say George he is our patron saint oh yes he is oh no he ain't oh yes he is Oh no he ain't, I'd rather have Father Christmas Or Jack the Ripper or Jimmy Savile, Margaret Thatcher or Gary Neville We need a Pooh or Simon Cowell, Bobby Moore or Enoch Powell Billy Bragg, Donovan or Jeslo, Tinky Winky Lala, Dipsy Poe Old Mother Moore, our local witch, Dave Dee, Dozzy Beaky Mick or Titch Or just for a joke, why not some old bloke From the Hoy at Anchor Folk Club and the hoy shanty crew, and all, and all, and the hoy shanty crew, and all. The end.